Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crazy Shot. I bring you guys another crazy gameplay in the background today. And for the commentary itself, what I want to talk about was pretty much give you guys my personal review on the scuff controller, telling you guys all the goods and bads of it. I didn't want to make a review right when I got the controller because I wanted to give you guys an honest to truth opinion on what I think of the scuff control. Tell you guys all the goods and bads about the controller so that if one day you're interested in buying a scuff controller, this will give you a little advice showing you guys everything about the scuff, talking about it. I'm not going to suck up to the company because of they're, they just sponsor people and all that stuff, but I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion and I hope that you guys will enjoy this commentary as well. But uh, anyways, for the gameplay itself, in the background, what it is is pretty much 106 and 21. I think I went and uh, I got a nuclear with the BMP. I did manage to get a nuclear with the uh, CUDA, I think, last video. If you guys missed that, go and check it out on my channel. It's a pretty good video. Met a bunch of new people in there, and you guys will see them as well. And they did get a double nuclear. I forgot to mention that as well. So if you guys want to go and check out that video. But um, anyways... For the class setup, as you guys can tell, I'm running the BMP grip, quick draw, and also extended mag. Forgive my aim here. Sometimes it's a little crazy when I'm just shooting all over the place. But um, for the specialist, I'm running kinetic armor because it seems to be extremely helpful, I feel. When you're really on a good streak, you just want to rush them and kill them. I definitely would run that. And for the perks, what I should be running is um, hardwire. I think, what else am I running? Quick draw? Or no, not quick draw. Fast hands. Uh, ghost and also I think blast suppressor but uh, those, that's pretty much the little gameplay itself in the background so I do hope you guys enjoy it the streaks guardian hater UAV all those stuff I don't think I even get one kill with the guardian in this game so technically it could be considered uh, all like what is it a non-lethal kill gameplay so 106 kills without streaks so I do hope you guys enjoy that as well in the background and as you guys can see I'm running the sexy dark matter camo a camo that a lot of people want and uh, that's pretty much it for the gameplay itself. And also, before I hop into the actual commentary about the scuff and everything, I just wanted to talk about G-Sliding real quick. As you guys do know, it is getting patched when the new DLCs drop on PlayStation, the fir or pretty much PlayStation first, beside Xbox. It is um, pretty much they're getting rid of G-Slide. And my opinions on that is it's a good thing. I mean, I do G-Sliding all the time when I play SD. But, uh, I mean, it does slow make the game back to its original pace to where people aren't getting to certain areas on the map as quick as they should be getting there. Like, because, you know, for example, if you G-slide in Redwood, you can get to the enemy spawn really quick. And pretty much it just makes the game a lot faster. So I personally don't think it's something that will ruin the game. I think they should have kept it in there personally just because it's a skill that you got to learn. I mean, it took me a while to learn it, but I ended up figuring it out. And I've been using it for, like, the last, I guess, few weeks of Call of Duty and uh, I've been really enjoying it and I had a lot of fun with this. So I don't wish that they, actually I just don't want them to take that out of the game. I think it should stay in the game. But uh, of course they're getting rid of it. Too sad, nothing we can do about that. But uh, anyways, that's a little quick topic about the G sliding and all that. just want to share that with you guys. And also I hope you guys are grinding out the double XP this weekend. It's a lot of XP to grind. I did make a modded video and I want to thank you guys for all the support for that. Showing that and I think that should be fixed really really quick but I know people are still abusing it. Somebody told me a little bit about what Treyarch is going to do. And it looks like what they're going to do is they're just going to reset you back to where to whatever level you were before you entered in those lobbies. That's what I've heard from a lot of people who know other people who work at Activision apparently. Or Treyarch themselves. Not too sure if those are real or not. But um, that's a little bit about what uh, just those random topics on the side. But anyways, to hop into the real commentary today, what I wanted to really address was pretty much tell you guys a little about the scuff control. So I might put a couple pictures throughout this video just for you guys to see how long I've been using the scuff. It's kind of wearing off now. But uh, anyways, what I did was I got the red camo for my scuff controller. Kind of enjoyed it at the time. I mean, they didn't have any of the pro player controllers on PS4 yet. As you guys do know, uh, I think pro was back all the way in Xbox for like the last three years. So uh, when I got my scuff controller, it was a little too late, but there was nothing I could have done there. I wish I could have gotten either Scumpies, Nade Shots, or Pomages. One of those guys, I really enjoyed their controllers and maybe even FaZe. Enjoy the red color a lot, so I ended up getting the red camo one. And uh, what I did was I kept the thumbsticks on it regular just because uh, the control freaks don't fit on the actual customized uh, stump sticks that you can pretty much put on your controls if you order from scuff. So I decided to go with the regular ones. And I've been running ever since. I've been just pretty much...
putting the vortex control freaks on it. I was gonna do a review on that as well. They're using that since AW till now, so a lot of experience with that as well. I want to share that with you guys maybe in a future video. But uh, that's a little bit about the controls. I didn't get the magnetic thing. I just left the left as X and the right as circle. But for me personally, I don't like the right paddle a lot. So I've taken off the paddle. It has no use for me. I have no use actually for it. I can't. It just messes up my gameplay. I can't hold the control in that position. So I've gotten rid of that. So as you guys will see, I post pictures all over the screen somewhere in this video. But um, pretty much you guys can tell. The back of the control i got the um i don't know what is grip or something but as you guys can tell it came as a dark red and now it's like white and red so it's definitely wearing out a lot uh thumbsticks are eventually finally giving up like the run button on the left side it keeps getting stuck inside the controller that is one bad thing i've noticed with the controller is that keeps getting stuck i don't know if it's because i'm playing really really crazy especially when i'm competitive when i'm running an smd or hard point just those game modes where you push down on it really hard Maybe that's why, but I'm, I don't know why that is with scuff controllers, but that's one bad thing is that they seem to die out really quick. They don't, the control doesn't last that long compared to a normal control you buy for 60 bucks. Like, um, for example, some controllers I bought from Asia uh, have really lasted for the longest time since I've had the PS4 till now. Those controls still work fine, and I played competitive with them at the time before I couldn't get a scuff yet. But um, that's a little bit about just the control. One flaw that I see is that that happens and also the battery in the control dies really quick uh what else is a flaw to the controller mm, i'm trying to think right now uh pretty much just um the buttons getting jammed buttons getting jammed is a really bad thing the back buttons r2 and l2 are also giving out too so i guess after six months the control pretty much dies off i use it constantly every day so for me that might be different from if you get the scuff control but if you use it every day just expect it to wear out within a few months i've only had the control for um i've been returning it back and forth a lot of time to get it fixed and all that so that's one major issue they have a lot of fixing issues and they only give you a 90 day warranty on the controller so i guess really jack up the control as much as you can and then send it back get it repaired that's what i did i've done it three times already so um that's a little about the control itself bad's about it but the good things about the controller itself is that it's really really good for these kind of games where there's boosting movements around the map as you guys can tell you can jump all over the place with the left paddle which is really really helpful it allows you to keep your aim on the enemy as well as jumping at the same time which will pretty much sometimes throw them off guard which is a good thing also you have the right paddle so that you can um, pretty much just drop shot them and that works as well really really good actually but like i said i took off the right paddle so i have no use for drop shotting majority of the gameplay you'll see in here is me jumping around with the scuff it does save me a couple times so that's a really good thing about it i like the cam on it but the paint job wears off really really quick it gets scratched all that stuff the pat uh, the grips on the back of course are going to wear out that's that's just i guess it comes with control i mean if you use it every day that's what will happen but overall itself I myself am pretty impressed with the controller. I paid about 190 for it. I've gotten every penny out of it. I mean, I've enjoyed it. I've made a lot of YouTube videos with it as well. But um, I personally feel like this control is coming to an end for me. But um, anyways, myself, that's all I have for you guys today on my opinion on the control itself. So if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. And I hope this video has helped you in some way, shape, or form. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Like I said, drop a like if you enjoy. And I shall see you guys in another video. Peace out.